Hello all, welcome back for more Mario Galaxy! And I swear I'm gonna be doing that every single video. Uh, anyways, last time we left off we did a bunch of stars in the terrace. Now we're gonna do some more. See what we got left. We're done with the good egg galaxy. We're done with loop de loop. So, let's go to Honey Hive. Honey Hive is always fun. Unless you have to do bees. Trouble on the tower. Let's see, what is this one? Ah, right now, remember? This one isn't bad. No, this one really isn't bad at all. It's quite easy. Boy. Yes. Right, let's get the M. Alright, let's go. Yeah, in this level you got these rocks all the way around. Which stops bean sprouts from uh, from growing, as you can see. Whoa. But uh, that was weird. Here we go. Yeah, you got some star bits up here, which is... Oh. That was less than I thought. Ow. I see. No, it's just these. And thus, we also got in this game Wigglers! Everyone loves Wigglers. But this. Okay, let me do this right. Ooh, a big red button! I wonder what this does! I gotta push it! <laughs> yeah, that was stupid. Pretty sure I butchered it. I gotta admit, the first time I clicked on this switch and everything started falling, I freaked out. Because I thought everything was gonna fall. But, yeah. It's kind of a cool area up here, actually. It's not it's an area you don't really see very often. And with this planet full of piranha plants. And this planet full of wigglers. See if we can get them both. No? Come on. Yeah. If you don't get them, that happens. They get mad and run, run like a train. And then you got this. I love this song. Cause it's so awesome. But you know what? Screw it. Yeah. There's tons of star bits on the way down there as well. It's a little shortcut you can take there. Oh, that was close. Yeah, this is the Mandy Bugs. They're not hard to kill, they're just annoying with a the charge they do. Yeah, most of the time you can just avoid them easy. Windmill, riding the windmill. Gathering star bits, like being on a fairy tale. Oh. Shit! Yeah, this guy has a kid. And when you kill his kid, he gets mad. Or she gets mad. There we go. Yeah, that's pretty much it for this one. It's quite simple, Star Rail. It's the easiest boss in the game, if you can call it a boss. Oh yeah! Alright, another star collected. So how's everyone doing today anyway? Dennis is there anyway. It's uh it's the fifth. September fifth. Or is it October? Yeah, it's October. 
Yeah, the cold's really starting to come over here. It's been freaking cold for ages. Ooh, we got a hungry Luma. Which is... Yeah, we, we actually get hungry Lumas out here as well. In the hub world. But... But we also got this. The last mystery galaxy. Which is an extremely easy galaxy. Painting the planet yellow. Yeah. There's a planet full of switches and pretty much what you have to do, you have to step on every single one of them. But... Thing is, if you step on... Uh, you step See, I now stepped on this one, so it's yellow. But if I do this, go off, and then step on it again, it becomes blue. So yeah. So you pretty much gotta be careful how that you only step on them once. It's not too bad, really. And the mar and the background is awesome as well. It's from uh, Super Mario Bros. 2, I believe. I'm not quite sure, but I think it's from Mario Bros. 2. It's like, I love these uh, small worlds like this, it's like, you get the special backgrounds from old games. It's like the special worlds, the secret floodless levels from Mario Sunshine. DON'T YOU DARE FALL OFF! HOLY CRAP, HOW DID I STAY ON THERE? And there you go. Where this part is, after that you painted the planet yellow, it all becomes green. Now you gotta use this thing to get the star. And we're done. Yeah! You got a star! I bet that sounds so retarded every time I say that. Say that. Luma! Galaxy complete! You discovered a new galaxy. Yeah, it's the last galaxy in the terrace. We have discovered their enemy base in the region. We can only hope they're not misusing the power of the poor Grand Star. Yeah, now we can actually take on the special boss level. But, we're gonna finish off Honey Hive first. Because I like to have stuff finished, it, finished before I go to the boss. Big Bad Bugaboo. I'm gonna tell you right now, this is probably one of my least favorite stars in the game. Because this is a boss that's kind of annoying. When I say, when I say kind of, I mean really. I'll explain it all when I get there. Yes. There's more mandibugs around. And these rocks have been bigger. Yeah, so head over here. Get this get in this bubble. Takes you over here. And now head in here. Damn it. Mario, can you jump right? Thank you. Shit is to be. The neighbors are causing trouble again. We'll be most grateful for your assistance. Yeah, as long as you don't want to crawl over you. Yeah, so... This is pretty much it there. This is the boss planet. And as you see, you gotta use the bee costume, which makes this fight even more of a pain. And there he is! Everyone's hated boss. The first hit is easy, you just fly on top of him. Uh, I said you just fly above him and ground pound. But now he's gonna start flying. So that makes him kind of a more pain in the ass to actually hit. Because you get to time it a lot more. Let's see if I can get it. Oh yeah! But now, he's gonna be mad, and he's gonna fly, and he's gonna spin around. 
And if that's that's not the worst part, he flies on his side for multiple periods of time. Yeah, like that. That makes it even more of a pain. Let's see if we can get this here. Yeah! Got him! Ugh, I hate this boss. No, I never have to do him again. I think. I can't remember. STAR! Alright! That's Honey Hive completed! There, now it's time to take on the boss of this of the terrace. Let's see what it is. Bowser Jr.'s robot reactor. Let's do it. And this is probably the easiest. Well, it's not the easiest. The Mandy Bug boss is easier, but this is pretty much the easiest Bowser level in the game. Definitely. That's a huge robot. Yeah, so easy plan to start off with. Just run over here and get to the cannon. Yeah, you're gonna need a bullet bill to follow you. Get away, goomb. Shit. There we go. And we're already at the boss. <laughs> yeah, that's how short this level is. Bowser Jr. Wahaha, <laughs> you made it! But I won't even need my dad's help to take care of you. Go ahead and Mega Leg stomp him with the power of your Grand Star. Wait, what? Mega Leg? Who's Mega Leg? Oh shit! That thing is huge! That's what she said. Alright, so, in order to beat this boss, you have to actually get on him. Just jump on his foot. Wow, that was hard. Now you just gotta climb. And you got bullet bills following you. Now you're on his head, and there's still bullet bills around. Yeah, you're gonna need bullet bills for this. Yeah, now the fence goes up, and there will be more bullet bills around. Come on. Damn it! Come on. Come on. This. It's everything where you need a bullet bill to follow you. Damn it! Wow. Come on. Come on. Yes! With one HP left. <laughs> boom! Para boom. Oh, this is epic. This is epic. Look at it with 1 HP left. I failed at the easiest bo boss level in the game. But... We got a grand star! Awesome! It's the second grand star in the game. Now the star in the middle becomes bigger. And the second panel lights up. Huh. Which means we unlocked the bathroom. Let me know and we can finally take a shower. And of course we discovered a new galaxy in there. 
That ball of flame represents the power of the observator. We call it the beacon. When you recover a grand star, a little star power will be restored, and the beacon will grow. Then come the observatory can use that power to fly through the universe. So that's what it is. Once all the power is restored, we'll be able to fly to the center of the universe. Sounds good to me. Oh, the power is in the new it's on in the new dome. The newly opened dome is called the fountain. It's quite relaxing. By the way, have you looked at at the map? It contains information about galaxies as well as the dome. If you get the location of a dome, don't hesitate to speak to me. Yeah. Yeah, so that's the map behind him. Just talk to him and goes. Oh, we got mail. And this is Mail Toad. Mr. Mario! Check it out, I'm Mail Toad and I have a letter for you. Dear Mario, I'm in a faraway place, but I'm alright because you're coming to rescue me. I hope this gift will come in handy. From Peach. Princess Peach include five one of mushrooms in her letter. Would you like them now? Hell yeah! Ah, even when she kidnapped, she, the princess is so thoughtful. <laughs> Come to me next time, there's a mail delivery. You know, the real question is, why does Bowser letter send out letters? That makes no sense. But yeah, there's one more thing we're gonna do in this video. We're gonna feed this hungry Luma. Hey you! Yeah you, got any tasty star bits? If you feed me a bunch of star bits, Birds of snacky happiness and then transform! I'm famishing in 400 starbits to curb my hunger pain. Yeah, the um, hungry lumos up out in the observatory is a lot more expensive than the one you find in the world. Feed me! Alright, I'm gonna take a deep breath for this. <laughs> That's it, I'm stuffed. Here we go. Transform! Whoa, that's bright. The sweet, sweet galaxy has appeared. Yeah, let's do it. What one is this? Rocky Road. Oh, yeah, this is actually quite an easy one of the... The, um... Hungry Lumos. This is probably the easiest one of the Hungry Lumos, actually. I thought it was... Actually, since this it's this one, I might actually be... have time to do something else after. Yeah, so this is kind of annoying. The... It pretty much goes the opposite way where you're going, plus there's holes, so... If you do any jumps, you're gonna be, have to be careful of where you land. And this one is almost similar, except goes to the left and right. And that was a close one. But yeah, long jumps is gonna help you a lot here. And then this one just goes a bit all directions. Just be careful where you stand, and I almost fell out. It's also a one up here if you want. See if I can get it. There we go. 13 one ups. That can't be a good sign. Made it. And this part. It's pretty much like the first part again. Shit. don't want to do a long jump while those round things are under the beam. Guess I don't trust myself to land on those round small things. Okay! God, this place is just awesome if you like, like sweets. Look at this, it's tons of ice cream and chocolate and cake. Hey, we're going back, okay! And before you take the star, spin here. More service! You got a star! Yeah! Eleven stars! 
And we discovered a new galaxy inside the fountain. Let's actually go have a look at fountain. Because we're done with the terrace for now. You just walk into this to get up there. Let's head inside. Yes, this is the bathroom, or fountain, if you want to call it that. Yes, we got two galaxies here for now. What's this one? Oh, the rolling green galaxy! Yeah, let's do that. Before we call it the video, because this one is actually kind of fun. Rolling in the clouds. No, I almost like I don't want to stop recording. I want to record an hour-long video or something, but I don't want to do that because then you're all gonna get bored. I don't want you all to get bored. Yes. Hey, now if you're thinking about rolling that ball away, you better listen to the old billboard here. First, jump on top of the ball. Yeah, it's another one of those tutorial like with the man ray. Get in the ball. All right, you're on. Hold Wii Remote straight up. All right, that's it. That's what we call the basic position. From basic position, tilt, tilt the Wii Remote, move, and then A to jump. All right. Yeah, so you pretty much gotta tilt the Wii Remote in the direction you wanna go, and press A to jump. It can be quite annoying to actually control at first, but it, you just gotta practice. Practice with it, really. If you want a real challenge, you can try picking up star bits. Yeah, I'm just gonna get you. Whoa! That was a close one. Yeah, the Goombas can really mess you up. If you go over them, so watch out. I'll just go over them anyway. Yeah, and this place... Right, let's see if we can take a narrow path. Good. Here we go, we're done. As I said, it's kind of a fun galaxy. It takes practice to learn, though. We'll or get to do an epic flag jumping scar star catching. In front of the windmill thingy. You got it. <laughs> that was weird. Right, so... Twelve stars. It's not bad. And we discovered another new galaxy inside the fountain. So now we got two galaxies to explore next time. So yeah, thank you all for watching. And ne hope you join in next time when we take on more, more galaxies in the fountain. Alright all, bye.